This is the Octo Sonar with eight sonars connected, showing how it works. Uh, as we can see, this is, this is the test script. We've got the eight uh, distances being shown in centimeters. The numbers are fluctuating because we have tripods and cameras and stuff in front of the sonars, and they really work best with nice flat surfaces like when you're running a maze. They're not very good with uh, noisy surfaces. So there, if I put this uh, flat surface over the front of the bottom sonar, as you can see, they all level up. Put it over all of them. I get a nice, even thing. If I raise it up, the numbers go up. If I tilt the surface like that, see, they, they slope. So, as you can see, and this is displaying centimeters. You, you can actually report this in millimeters if you want. Uh, for more accuracy and it really does seem to work down to almost millimeter accuracy if you have two sensors side by side you can measure with the ruler and the numbers are going to be varying uh, by millimeters only it's very surprisingly accurate considering the devices so there we go if I just cover these ones nice low numbers at the end Is it up? Numbers go up. Numbers go down. So it's actually not using these all at once. It's, it's going in rotation. It's going around in a circle. Uh, 50 milliseconds each. So there's enough time for any random sound that's left over that's echoing off the walls or whatever to go away before it sends a new one. Uh, sonars have the disadvantage that if you've got another robot in the room using the same sensors they're going to confuse each other so if you're in robot wars or something like that you probably don't want to use this uh, because they're gonna they're gonna interfere with each other but if, if you just got one robot and it's controlling all of the sensors then you can use as many as you want it'll just take longer to go around the rotation all the wiring we have going to this is our i2c cable here which is uh, your A4, A5, and your power and ground, uh, which you can use for other things such as the display. And we also have a single pin being used for this. And in fact, if you uh, want to use another card, you can use another hardware interrupt pin. You only get two of the standard Arduino Uno, so they're very precious things, these hardware interrupt pins. So if you really want to run two of these, uh, and you don't want to use two pins, you can run the uh, the return pin here through uh, an AND gate or a NOR gate, depending on, I forget which one it is, I'll have to write that up, um, and you can uh, multiplex those into the same pin, and it'll just go around the rotation, because it can only ever ping one at a time, because the ultrasonics will interfere with each other if you try and use two simultaneously, so it gaps them out, and you can run 20 per second. Uh, around that. So as long as your robot isn't running really fast, uh, that's enough for it to navigate with. 